Hey guys, welcome to this video on recurrence relations. So here we want to develop an explicit function for the following recurrence relation using backtracking. And in red, in the red rectangle here, we have our recurrence relation that says t of n is equal to 3 times t of n minus 1. And then we have our base case that says t of 0 is equal to 5. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we need to figure out what t of 1 is. All right, so t of 1 is equal to 3 times t of 1 minus 1, which is equal to 3 times t of 0. And this, of course, is equal to uh, 3 times 5. All right, so next let's try t of 2 and see if we can uh, find a pattern. We're looking for a pattern. So let's see if we can find it. So t of 2 is equal to 3 times t of 2 minus 1, which is equal to 3 times t of 1. And we've already solved for t of 1 up top. So this is equal to 3 times 3 times 5. All right. So I can kind of see a pattern here. But let's uh, try t of 3. So t of 3 is equal to 3 times t of 3 minus 1, which is equal to 3 times t of 2. And we said uh, 3 times t of 2 is equal to 3 times 3 times 5. So um, here we get 3 times 3 times 3 times 5. And let's try uh, t of 4. So we get 3 times t of 4 minus 1, which is equal to 3 times t of 3. So this is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 5. All right. And let's see. We can see a pattern here, right? So when we have uh, our input being 1, we have 3 to the 1 power times 5. When our input is 2, we get 3 to the 2 power times 5. When we have our n equal 3, we get 3 to the 3 power or 3 to the third power times 5 and we have uh, our input being 4 we get 3 to the fourth power times 5 so if we had t of n we would get 3 to the nth power times 5 and that is our answer so thank you for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video please leave any questions you have in the um, comment section uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.